And good evening, everybody. TGIF, the standings, well, they say it all. Alabama is 11-4 and in the SEC, and Florida is 12-3. and If the Tide can knock off the eighth-ranked Gators tomorrow in Gainesville, they'll be tied for first place in the SEC with Florida and possibly Kentucky, depending on the outcome of the Wildcats game at Arkansas. Crimson Tide head coach Anthony Grant says his team has worked hard to put themselves in this position. Looking forward to uh, the challenge of going on the road and playing a team, uh, the caliber of Florida. Really impressed watching them on film, you know, with what they've been able to accomplish uh, over the course of the season. Uh, you know, obviously coming off a tough loss at Tennessee, uh, not 100% uh, healthy at the time. Uh, we understand they'll be uh, uh, possibly a full complement of players uh, for our game. So uh, we're what, 15 games into. Uh, the conference schedule, we, we find ourselves uh, tied for second place and the things that we've talked about, having an opportunity uh, to, to control our destiny uh, is within our hands. I think our guys are excited about it. You know, for us to be 15 games in and, you know, we have complete control on what we do going forward, it's exciting and, you know, just the opportunity to be able to play again is exciting in itself, but we understand everything's at stake and so, you know, I think our guys are going to be ready to go. It's an early tip-off in Gainesville tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Central Time. ESPN will televise the contest. And, of course, our Todd Hoyer will have a complete recap for you tomorrow night on the News at 10. The Alabama High School Athletic Association State Tournament, the Super 48, over in Birmingham. 1A finals on the boys' division. We'll start with all boys. Look at this. St. Jude nips Brantley 57-56. 2A boys' final. Tanner over Lafayette. 5-8 finals, highly anticipated. Winona going for a third straight title. That game is tonight at 7. On the girls' side, 1A final goes to Brantley over Keith. 2A final goes to Woodland over Prattville Christian. And right now in the 5A finals in the fourth quarter, Faith Academy leads Winona by 5 points, 44-39. The 7-1 Alabama Crimson Tide baseball team is set to host the 4-5 Tulane Green Wave in a three-game series this weekend. Game one of the series, in fact, just underway at the Joe. Game two tomorrow at 2.05, and game three is scheduled for 1.05 on Sunday. Head coach Mitch Gaspard told us on Thursday that he likes the way his team is playing going into this three-game weekend series against the Greenway. I like the way we play the game. I like our competitive edge that we play with. Uh, I believe four or five of the wins now we've come from behind, uh, which that's always a good sign for a team early. And uh, I think our young guys have stepped up. They've played the way we wanted to as far as attacking the game and been fearless. And, and I think we're getting a lot out, out of our older players that you know, last year may have struggled some, but now we're getting what we thought we were going to get. And we'll have those highlights uh, from that big ball game for you tonight on the News at 10. Well, the Alabama softball team taking on Iowa State today in the Easton Classic at Rhodes Stadium. And it was chilly out there at the old ballpark. The Alabama bats stayed hot. Top of the first, Taylor Hunt hits the uh, hop, high hopper into left field, scoring Andrea Hawkins from second, putting the tide up one to nothing. Later, with the bases loaded, Callie Case at the plate. She hits one to Sarah Davidson at second. She bobbles it around. Danae Hayes is safe at second. And Hunt is allowed to score from third. Bama on top, two to nothing. The next batter, Courtney Conley. Bases loaded. She strikes out. Normally, that's a bad thing. But the ball gets away. Pass ball. And that allows a run to score. It was 3 nothing Alabama. Iowa State would rally off Leslie Jury to lead 4-3, mainly because of bad defense. Alabama, three errors. She only gave up four hits. She went the distance. Six-inning game. Alabama wins at 13-4. The second game against St. John's just underway. We'll update you that uh, update you uh, on that game tonight at 10. And remember, both games tomorrow afternoon live here on Alabama's home team, WVUA. This afternoon over at the uh, Alabama Indoor Tennis Facility, the Crimson Tide men's team. Opening SEC play against 13th ranked Ole Miss. The Rebels won the doubles point by sweeping all three matches. However, the Tide battled back in the singles competition to get within one point at three to two. Two matches are left, and the Tide is up a set in one match, and the other is all even at four in the third and final set. So there's a chance Alabama can pull the upset. We'll update you tonight at 10 o'clock. Also, this note, former Bama golfer Michael Thompson is at uh, – Second place at the halfway point at the Honda Classic down in Florida. He's at eight under par, one shot out of the lead. Rory McIlroy quit. After, seven, after eight holes, he was seven over par. He just walked off the course.